Welcome everybody back to Streets of Rage, and I know the TV looks very uh, black right now. Is just all black right now, and looks like it was turned off. If you're one, if you're curious about that, then either stick around in this video or watch the ending of the last video, of the last part. Because I just paused it at the right time. Because now we're going on to round seven. Look, oh, we're going up. We're on an elevator now. All right. Oh no. Ah no. I might. I. I probably would get quite a bit more confused if I play through Final uh, Fantasy's uh, Fury's Rage. Or I guess it's called Security Breach. Fury's Rage. I. I wouldn't mind. I, I guess I wouldn't mind playing that. I did. I wanted. I really wanted to play when it first uh, came out. Like every other YouTuber and. It, but it's just the fact that it was very Streets of Rage 1 style, and I never played through Streets of Rage, any of them. So I want to play through Streets of Rage before I play through Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Fury's Rage. So. What the frick? You see what's going on here, everybody? Oh man, that's awesome. That's so nice. That's nice. That, uh. That, that just knocks out all these guys back. Buddy. Oh, he's got a knife! Oh, that's not good. He's got a knife. Come here, you. Alright. Come here, give me that knife! Knife is over there in the corner. I'm gonna grab a knife. And you're probably wondering, how did he know there was a knife in that corner? It's called I paid attention. Oh wait. <laughs> wait. Is he coming back? Oh no, I threw him. You can throw him off? I didn't know that. I didn't know I could throw him up. I didn't know I could throw him off. That's so nice to know. Uh, I can use a health item. Because these guys are gonna kick my ass. Oh no. Oh no, that's no. That's no! You're not gonna. Okay, so I guess I just don't do this. And he's just gonna keep doing it because he's stepping out of the way. I have so little health, and I just don't want to. I don't want to life. It's nice. It's honestly really nice that it's the case that if I die, I don't have to start the level over. So that's that's just really nice. It's just if I die, I just respawn, and if I game over, I know I have to start probably the whole game over. Is the thing. My health count, my life count, high because I'm pretty sure for the final boss, I am probably either gonna be rewinding a lot, a, more than I should, so I'll probably just have to accept uh, my deaths at the final boss more, so that way I can get uh, the cops. Oh my god! No. Not another one like her where she. Stays in that freaking down position. Wow, I wish I could have tossed her like that. You know what? I'll take the death. I'll take it. And I'll raise you a cop. Are they actually gonna. That's neat, but can they actually reach up here? <clears throat> I'm sick of all of you. I get, and I, if anybody's wondering, then that's probably a waste that I should have saved for the boss. I mean, I get one for each death, and even then, I could always stumble upon one. Besides, I have there. It's just an elevator ride up, so yeah, I'm not getting any help items at the moment. So I'll take the death on that one. 
but I won't take the ass kicking that I'm getting from these jackasses. These jackasses. But I will throw him over. Yeah! That was satisfying. I got to throw them both. That was very satisfying that I got to throw both of them over overboard. Yes! Ah, oh, I have to be facing away to throw them over the up. Um, I'm not moving, so that was the in-game cutscene. I'm just going into what I can only assume is the penthouse. That was round seven. Round eight. I don't know how many levels there are in this game, to be completely honest. Oh, but this music. Okay, so I can't jump up there, I just gotta dodge it. Is that gonna be a constant thing? Just, uh, dinner carts just coming out of nowhere as I progress through? Weird ass dominatrix. Someday in the future, maybe I—I I really do want to play. It. I'm thinking of one would be a decent time because I kind of want to play a bit more Streets of Rage, at least the second game, maybe before I play uh, Final Fantasy Series Rage or something. I would still love to play. I would still love to do four-player online co-op because uh, I, th I mentioned this in a previous part that. Um, these first three isn't online, you can't really do online co-op. Yeah! So, but, but you can do local. So, it's not, I wouldn't say it's impossible for me to do uh, two-player on this, for this game. But it's just, honestly, with my current setup, that I probably couldn't. But Streets of Rage 4, I know I could do easily do multiplayer. Hey, Captain Boomerang! <laughs> he's back as but he's a normal jobber. I know he's not actually Captain Boomerang. He has he's just he's a big he's the first boss of the game, but he has a freaking boomerang. I don't know really many other characters other than maybe Ty the Tasmanian Devil. Or Ty Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Not Tasmanian Devil. This thing will but that's like the, those are the only two characters that I can think of that their signature weapons are boomerangs. Oh, uh, Sticks the Badger and Sonic Boom. Gee, actually, I'll be honest. I, I'm, I, I kind of like Sonic Boom, the show, and Sticks is one of my more favorite characters. Is one of my favorite characters. Though I will be 100% honest, I freaking hate. I don't like Knuckles in Sonic Boom the cartoon. For the games, because I don't like the idea of Knuckles being an idiot. Like, Knuckles is gullible? Yes. And I like how they gave a bullcrap reason in Sonic X why he's gullible. It's because uh, it's like one of the space episodes where uh, Cosmo just goes up to Knuckles and said, like, Knuckles gets tricked by Eggman again. And, like, Knuckles is feeling pretty bad, really shit about trusting Eggman again, and then Cosmo's like, you know, I don't, I don't blame you for trusting him. Like, you just want to believe that everyone is good. That was the bullcrap reason why Knuckles gets gullible in Sonic X. Is that they, they just say that Knuckles thinks that everyone is good, has a little bit of good deep down in him. Even though that. Uh, trust me, uh, Eggman will forever and always stay the villain. Oh god, no. Not a reskin. That just means you're tougher. Oh god. I don't. I. I 
can't get close. I can't get close enough without getting hit. I'll take. I'll take the life because I get. Oh, I don't have. To, I don't get the cups this time. You see that? Yes, you see that, lads. But you also see this. Okay, maybe you're not tougher because you're not a boss. And I don't have to fight two of you at once. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, you're right. I hate Knuckles and Sonic Boom. And any reason why he's double in Sonic X. Um, yeah, it's just... I'll take... I'll, I'll take Knuckles being... I'll take the idea of Knuckles being double. In, in a lot of... In quite a few situations in the Sonic series, considering that he gets tricked by Eggman. Twice! That I can remember, because... Yeah, Sonic 3 and then Sonic Adventure. But I just don't like the fact that I don't like it's and I don't mind Knuckles design. I I don't mind Knuckles being like actually pretty big and buff looking and that he actually has fingers. It's just why did they have to make him such a dumbass? I know how to deal with these guys. Just punch them when they charge. At the right moment when they charge. Yeah. You can get them just before you can get two hit, you can get a couple hits on them. That was, okay, I got a little too cocky for that. Oh, thank God. Woo, okay, let me continue forward, unless there's somebody else. Take the meat. I see you guys. I'm pretty sure smoke bomb's more useful than what I feel like I give it credit for, but I have but I mean knife. Apple. Hey Apple! What? Knife. Oh man. I I haven't watched Annoying Orange in like a good couple of years, but man did I love watching oh, man do I have to say I love watching Annoying Orange. Oh no! What? No, you're not. Nope. Hold on. You're not getting too far away from me to where I can't kick your ass. I freaking hate your ass. I hate you so. I hate you so much, dude. He's just lucky I don't can't summon the cops. And he's just gonna burn through my time. Pun completely intended. See, I can't get close enough to him before he starts freaking flame using his flame breath. And he moves so fast that I can't get behind him. Oh my god. I hate this son of a this fat son of a bitch. He's gonna, this guy's gonna literally burn through my elf and my lives. See, see what I mean? I was freaking ready for him and he... He already gets his freaking flame breath! This is a... This is a... Travesty, and I don't have any cops to bring in here. I can't bring in the cops. I can't use my special. This is bullcrap. See, 
even when I knock his ass down after I die, I can't do anything about it. He takes away half my health! I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with this guy. I don't. I may just have to look up how to deal with this fat son of a bitch. lives to that fat bastard. Needless to say, I am, uh, I am upset. Enraged, if you will. Because other than throwing a knife at him, I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with him. Like, summoning the cops... Like, anything that doesn't require me to actually have to get up close to him and attack him only way I can actually hurt him. So, needless to say, I am not happy. Not one bit. I hate the fat bastard. Flaming fat boys. I do not like. Made it to the door with what I can only assume is the, the friggin' head of this criminal organization that's been run that's been ruining this city. This unnamed city. Can I go in? Oh my god, I don't want not you two again. You two were annoying enough on the boat. And that's when I had my baseball bat. And I can't knock him- I can't really knock him out of the sky, either. See, I try to go in for an attack, and they just grab- they freaking grab me! Or they freaking jump kick me! Acrobatic shitheads! We're gonna run my time out. And there's nothing I can do. Up. There's not much I can do. No, I will not get freaking grabbed by you. Okay, fine. No, I'm not, it's not doing. I'm not doing it. That took half my health. Freaking grab took half my health. You, I do not accept. Ow, oh, you are still in midair. I can freaking jump in the air too. See, she's just right behind me, and if I try to attack, I'm thankful I'm faster than them. I'm thankful I freaking power walk faster than them. Oh my god. So annoying. See, you see this? I'm not freaking losing my last three bits of health to you two. And I'm about to run out. I'm probably gonna lose a life anyways because I'm almost out of time. Because of course old school Sega has to have timers on their games. I hope I genuinely hope, at least in the third game, they got rid of the timer. If not, then... Oh, boy. Okay, 
let me pause for a second, because, man, I'm... My hand's starting to get tired out. Okay, I'll take the hit, mainly because I get a good hit on you. No! You're not grabbing me! I'm gonna run out of time. I'm gonna run out of time. I'll take the death, mainly just so I can get my timer back up. And just right off the bat. I wish I had my bat. I know how to deal with you, but you are just so annoying! Well, I'm getting increasingly mad. But I guess this is a neat boss rush before I have to fight what I can only assume is the final boss. If I could just flying knee kick your asses. One good flying knee. If I can get a good hit in in general. You know what, if I want to use my special on the friggin' uh, elevator ride, I probably would have used it on the fat man. <sighs> I gotta pause again because my arm's starting to get tired again. Oh my god, my hand. Did I say my arm? I meant my hand. Just, holy crap, you are annoying! Not no. No. I stand still well doing that. <laughs> nope, I am not taking that. No. Shit. I probably just have to be more patient than what I actually am right now, but... Because oh I've understood when a good time to attack them is... It's just getting that It's just getting the timing. Doesn't help that I am on a timer, and I have two lives left in it. So I can only assume that when they toss me, it's because I'm doing whatever controller input I'm doing that would normally be to toss uh, when I toss people around, but that's what I'm assuming.
good combo going on there. I'm not being it ruined. I'm not getting it ruined. Am I close at am I close at all to freaking beating you two? Because I can't tell. I really can't. It doesn't help that you don't have boss. It doesn't help that you don't have health meters. You know what? I'll take it. I took one of you down. That's good enough for me. I took one of you down. I'm happy. I can lose a life a happy man. You see the, you see this acrobatic bullcrap that they do. Now that there's just one... Oh my god, I did it! There's... more! Please, I have... I have eight seconds left. You are kidding me. End the level, please. Thank God. Okay, big bad boss guy. Well, you found your way here. Would you consider being my right hand man? Achievement unlocked, sore knuckles. I wonder what happens if I say yes. But I'm gonna say no. You really wanna die, don't you? I'll be happy to oblige. Okay, boss fight. Boss fight music. As long as I don't have to fight the fat bastard again. Oh, I can't even attack him. Well, makes sense. It's just too late. There we go. Fat ass up yourself. Oh, oh, and he. Oh, what? He gets a gun? Oh boy. I am in trouble. Okay, so I need that lead pipe. Okay, I will accept the death. But why did you have to put me back in all the way over there? I need to pick up this lead pipe, because this is the only thing I know that I'd probably beat the boss with. Maybe? Because he has yellow, he's got the yellow health bar. I just gotta jump over the bullets. Does that make sense? Okay. What the frick? Do I need to knock his goons into him or something? Cause I'm getting pretty close to death. Why is your health bar not good? There we go. I literally just hit punch and... Oh, I can literally just punch away his bullets. That's insane. And very cool. Just 
me and you, fucker. Unless you... Wow, so I really had the whittle I literally just had the whale on him. There we go! Okay, so he's gonna do that attack, and that's gonna kill me. I can't really do much of any- Don't tell me it's game over after that. Oh, yeah, no, it's saying it's game over, so... I have to fight him with that amount of health left. That's... 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 this ain't gonna end well. I can tell. So I can't dodge it. How many times are you gonna keep doing that? Hey, I just... I can... I, I'm gonna do this. But it's just that attack where he hits me with the butt of his gun that kills me every time. Does a lot of damage. Okay. <laughs> I can do. I got. The, okay. I'm. Oh, I had a flow going. Get a couple punches in, then flying knee. Okay, I did it. Oh man, that felt satisfying. <laughs> Though this probably isn't the end. Is it the end? He cleared. I don't know if this is the end or not. That he definitely he used a gun so that players. Le oh, that is okay. It is the end. Holy crap! Um, hold on, let me put my initials in. N, nope. N A. Uh. M. Yeah! Okay! So that's it! That was the end of Street... That's end of Street to Rage 1! Wow, okay. That was... That honestly was pretty satisfying. I'm sorry I wasn't... Oh, woo! And whatnot, but... Oh my god, I hate those fat men. I hate those fat flame boys. They are so annoying. Alright, we did it. Yeah, if I ever come back to this game, I want to do a two-player and play as... have the two characters we go through the this game as would be Blaze and Alex? Because, yeah, it's Alex was the black guy, Axel was the guy I was playing as, and then Blaze is the girl. Yeah, that's Axel. The blonde guy. Who I know is in Street. Who I'm. I know is in in Streets of Rage 4, but just as an old man, which I think is kind of cool that he's like even in his, even what would seem to be out of his prime, he still kicks ass. That's neat. Presented by Sega, 1991. Okay, so this came out like the same year as Sonic, because Sonic came out in 1991. What? Oh boy, I'm I'm honestly I'm a little indifferent about doing this two player because if I'm doing a two player, I'm still gonna do the whole I'm still probably gonna do the whole rewind thing because I because I like play it casually and whatnot. But two player would probably be a whole other mess, or it could actually be a lot easier. I don't know. I just don't know how to. Doing the two player, I would be able to handle the flaming fat boy. But there it is. The end of Streets of Rage 1. And there is my score. 
547,700 points. So. Oh wait, you know what? I'll, I'll let this. So, I hope you all really enjoyed this, because, yeah, obviously, this is the end of the video. So, I hope you all enjoyed this series so far. I know this was probably going to be, like, the longest video out of all of them, but that's just because it took me so long to get through the level. But, I enjoyed playing this. I can't wait to play Street to Rage 2, Street to Rage 3, and Street to Rage 4. Like I said, I really want to do four online four-player. So, hey, if any of y'all want to do Streets of Rage 4 with me, let me know in the comments, because, hey, I'm not, the only thing I ask is that, uh, you have Discord, and you have a working microphone. So that way, like, we'd still be able to, like, talk, we'd be able to converse with each other. That's the only, that, those are my only requirements. And I hope you all really enjoyed this series. You know the jazz. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you I I appreciate everybody who's been who watched uh, me play through this from start to end and I will see you all I hope well I won't see you all but I hope you all will return for the next video until then everybody have a good day